Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and today we're going to talk about how to loop record inside of Studio One. In my last video, I showed you how to do comping in Studio One, and you may have thought, okay, but what if I want to loop a specific section and just record it over and over and over and over again until I get it right? That happens to me a lot, especially if I'm doing like a little guitar part or a guitar solo. I don't want to stop and make a new playlist and record it again, because I know it's going to take me about 10 tries to get it. Um, Mayhaps that's not the best way to do it, but it is a cool feature that you can do in Studio One. So it's actually really simple. You find your section where you want to do the actual loop. So we're going to take this section here. So this vocal section, we're just going to do it on a vocal again. Um, and so this is the section I want to try to loop. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a looped section first. So I'm going to actually move my loop around. By the way, you do that by clicking up here. And I'm going to find it the right length. I think it needs to be maybe two bars before I start singing. Makes sense. And I turn the loop on. So it should be like this. <laughs> Okay, no, it should be one less. So that is, yeah, that's a four bar, Durr, that's a four bar loop. So now I'm gonna start recording and what's gonna happen is, is if you can watch it, I'll turn this down, while I'm playing, you can see the playback head is moving along and since the loop is engaged, it's just gonna warp back to the beginning. So it's a good way to, obviously you can do that for practice and rehearsal and just looping things over and over while you listen or hunt for something with EQ. But in this instance, we're gonna just press record and we're gonna actually record the vocal and it's gonna record it over and over and over and over and over again. But each take is gonna be saved in a very special way that if, I, if you didn't know that it was there, you might miss it. So let's do that now, here we go. You get the idea. And we could do that over and over and over and over and over and over and over as much as we want. But what you'll notice is, okay, I only see the most recent one. Maybe it's on my layers. If I go and expand all my layers like I did in the last video, no, there's nothing there except this old take from earlier. So where are they? Well, there's a hint in this little icon at the bottom left. So all of the regions or the events in Studio One a lot of times, if there's something going on that's unique or special, you'll see something down here. Like these up here, you can see they're muted. These actual events are muted, and there's a little icon that shows that. That icon in the bottom left-hand corner changes depends on what, depending on what's happening. So if we click on this, we will now see all of our takes were recorded. So we did six takes just then, and I can easily just switch between them and listen. So it requires a little more clicking. Let's say we wanted to record all those takes, but we really would like to comp them together like we did, like I showed you in the last video, where you're seeing them all in like a list, and then you're kind of selecting like this and comping the different sections. You can do that by, uh, check this out. If you right click on the event itself, you'll see you have a couple of options here. Unpack layers to tracks. Um, no, this is it, sorry. Unpack takes. So these are called takes. So a layer is what I showed you in the last video. Takes are what we do when we loop record. Um, and now I can say unpack takes to new layers. And just like that, if I scroll down, you'll now see, look, these are all my takes. And in, they're named appropriately. They're called Vox Take 2, Vox Take 3. So now I can do my normal um, 
comping thing here where I like that part and that part and that part. Uh, and I've got all my takes here. Now they're on layers. So the, when you first record, they save them as takes. Um, and you can go through and change them here. If it's just, you know it's take five, you don't need any comping, boom, take five, you're on your way. However, if you want to do some comping, you'll need to right click, choose the unpack takes, unpack takes to new layers option, and then you're off to the races. All right, so where can you use this? Obviously, uh, with a single vocal line, I don't see myself doing that a lot, but I do use it a lot when I'm playing an instrumental part and I just can't seem to get it right. And the stopping and starting is getting me frustrated. So this, I can just kind of forget about everything and just play it over and over and over again. And then once I get one that's good or two that are good, I know I can go back and find them and put the perfect piece or perfect compilation together. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Go try this. If you have questions, come back and ask them here. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.